speed for that we can do away. Oh yes, Jesus, we trust in you, Father. We trust in you. Yes, Lord Jesus, we trust in you. Majesty. Worship his majesty. Unto Jesus we go this morning. Majesty. King of authority. Forth from his throne unto the world. So lift up on high the name of Jesus. Magnify, come glorify, Jesus the King. Jesus said to Saint Faustina, "I am offering people a gift with which they are to keep coming for graces, the fountain of nature. That vessel is this image, the signature. Jesus, I trust in you. I am sending you." With my mercy to the people of the whole world. I do not want to punish them to my in truth, but rather I desire to heal them. Pressing it close to my merciful heart. On this special day, Jesus, the merciful Savior, comes to visit me with his divine presence and his many graces which he promises to all those who welcome him and trust in him. He will pour his graces in abundance upon you. <coughs> all the members of your family and all who will come to participate in this movement. So open the door of your hearts to allow his mercy and graces to flow into your lives, to bring about healing, reconciliation, forgiveness and freedom. Let us all pray the act of contrition of contrition and the prayer to the Holy Spirit together. Oh my God, I am happily sorry for having offended you. And I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because they offend you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love, I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and fill them with fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created, and you shall renew the faith of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolation to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you 
for your love for us. We thank you for shedding your blood for us on Calvary. Lord, you reminded them for Stina that Satan hates every soul, the enemy of all souls, of all families, and our nation waging war against us. We are powerless in our own strength. But in you, Christ Jesus, we are more than conquerors. In your name, Jesus Christ, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, we come against Satan, all its adversaries, every wicked spirit, every restless spirit, and every spirit that seeks the destruction of our souls, our family, and our nation. We pull down every stronghold passing down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen. We bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of Jesus Christ and in the authority of Jesus Christ. We cast you into the bottomless pit where the fire of God destroys you now. In the name of Jesus, we seal that pit with the blood of Jesus, that no longer will you be able to bring hurt or pain to our family in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare in Jesus' name, no weapon formed against us shall, shall prosper. prosper. And every word spoken in judgment against us shall be refuted. Just as our God told Moses to put the blood of the Lamb on the doorposts of every Israelite home so that the death plague will pass over us. So now we seal our home. Every member of our family, our workplaces, our schools, our vehicles, our finances, and everything that concerns us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, and we declare that we see and protect it from all evils. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Send my family of angel, defend us in this day of our battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and be from the prey, and do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the destruction of souls. As we continue on the seventh day of this November, let us keep before us the call to redemptive suffering and the consolation that comes from the God's presence. Romans 8, 35 to 39 tells us, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or so on. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Through him who loved us, for I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor heights, nor depth, 
know everything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord. In the name of the Father, Father. And the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh my Lord, inflame my heart with love for you, that my spirit may not grow weary amidst the storms, the sufferings, and the trials. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Spirit. We are afflicted in the body, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to the spirit, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body and death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' yes. sake. So that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. <coughs> for the sake of Christ, then I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions and calamity. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The word of God. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal which comes upon you to prove you as though something strange will happen to you. But rejoice in so far as you share. Christ's sufferings, that you may also rejoice and be glad when the glory is revealed. Yeah. If you are if you are reproached for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory that has fallen rests upon you. Yet he who once suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but under that name, let him glorify God. No temptation has overtaken you. That is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your strength, but with temptation will also provide a way of escape that you may be able to endure it. More than that, we rejoice in our suffering. Knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and the hope does not disappoint us. disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has given us, who has been given to us, Romans. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In our meditation, let us quietly reflect on our call to suffering as a means of imitating our Lord and sharing in his redemptive body. Suffering is inevitable, it is a central part of the human experience. As we encounter trials and struggles, let us reflect on the ways God may be asking us to respond to these difficult moments in our lives. Jesus called his disciples to take up their cross and follow him. For Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example so that we should follow in his steps. In fact, Jesus desired to associate with his remaining sacrifice those who were to be his first beneficiaries. This is achieved supremely in the case of his mother, who was associated more okay. intimately than any other person in the mystery of his redemptive suffering. 
of a salvation flow from God's initiator of love for us. Because he loved us and set his son to be the explanation for our sin. Redemption won by Christ consists in the that he came to give us as a ransom for many. That is he. That is, he loved his own children so that they might be ransomed from the futile way inherited from his fathers. Poor soul, I see that you suffer much and that you do not have even the strength to come to the city. So I will speak to you. Even though your suffering grows very great, great, do not lose heart or give in to despondency. Tell me about everything be sincere in dealing with me. Reveal all the wounds of your heart. I will heal them, and your sufferings will become a source of your sanctification. Lord, Lord, my, my sufferings suffering are so great and numerous and have lasted so long that I become discouraged. My child, do not be discouraged, for there is no way to heaven except the way of the cross. No cross, no crown. I followed it first. You must learn that it is the shortest and surest way. I realize how painful it is not to be understood, and especially by those whom one loves and with whom one has been very open. But suffice it to know that I understand all your troubles and miseries. I have remained alert to comfort your aching heart and to fortify your soul so that you will not falter on the way. You say that the dense darkness is obscuring your mind, but why at such times do you not come to me? The light who can in an instant pour into your soul more understanding about holiness than can be found in any books. No confessor is capable of teaching and enlightening a soul in this way. Know too that the darkness about which you complain, I first endured in the Garden of Olives, when my soul was crushed in mortal anguish. I'm giving you a share in those sufferings because of my special love for you, and in view of the high degree of holiness I am intending for you in heaven suffering soul the closest to my heart. Amen. One more thing, Lord. What should I do when I am ignored and rejected by people, especially by those on whom I had a right to count in times of great this need? My child, make the resolution never to rely on people. Entrust yourself completely to my will, saying, Not as I want, but according to your will. Oh boy. oh boy, let it be done unto me. These words spoken from the depths of one's heart can raise a soul to the summit of sanctity in a short time. Mm. In such a soul, I delight. Such a soul gives me glory. Such a soul fills heaven with the fragrance of her beauty. But understand that the strength by which you bear sufferings comes from frequent communions. So approach this fountain of mercy often to draw with the vessel of trust whatever you need. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. In remaining with us in this exile, as a God of mercy, and blessing us 
the ingredients of your compassion and goodness. It is through the light of your mercy that I have come to understand how much you love me. The Lord visited me today and said, My daughter, do not be afraid of what will happen to you. I will give you nothing in your ministry. You know the power of my day. Let that be enough. My daughter, meditate frequently on the suffering which I have undergone for your sake. And then nothing of what you suffer for me will seem good to you. You please me most when you meditate on my sorrowful passion. Mm. <coughs> Join your little sufferings to my sorrowful passion so that they may have infinite value before my majesty. A moment of silence. A great present. The essence of the great present. To reflect and then briefly share an item of scripture passage for the diary of faith. What stood out for you in the readings? What do you think God is saying to you at this moment of your life? Well, it's the same thing what um, um the same thing we was talking about today that when you when you suffer now it's a blessing yeah. you know because he telling you christ telling you he know what it is to be neglected what it is to be misunderstood because yeah. he walked the walk that we walk in now yeah. so you know it's just insulting, yeah, yeah he know these things you know, long suffering and all them things. You know? So that we telling you, my child, do not be discouraged. But there is, but there is no way to have me accept make the way. The re re my child, make the resolution never to rely on people. See, don't rely on people. If Christ could tell it up, yeah. you know, he knew it. He knew it. Let us for a few moments reflect on the words of St. John of the Cross as he says, The road is narrow. He who wishes to travel it more easily must cast off all things and use the cross as his king. In other words, he must be truly resolved to suffer willingly for the love of God. In all things. Hmm. Let us approach the throne of divine mercy, remembering that the God of mercy is in Matthew. In Matthew. May the tour through all the towns and villages, teaching in Serbia synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing all kinds of diseases, disease and all kinds of illness. And when he was the crowds, and when he saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them because they were harassed and dejected, dejected like sheep without a shepherd. Father of mercy, your word says to us in Luke 9, 20, if anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. We feel the burden and the weight of our cross, Lord, so we turn to you in our need. We know our suffering, our trials, our disappointments, and our pain. Give us courage to accept our cross and in your great mercy, please bring relief to our aching bodies, troubled minds, and sinful souls. We pray to the Lord 
Jesus, I trust in you. Father of mercy, we pray for our nation. We know the pain and brokenness of our people. You know the depths of fear and the hate we experience, which we face, the reality of crime, corruption, murder, child abuse, and all the ills of our society. Rid our land of all those evils and help us Jesus, to trust in your loving kindness and not lose heart. Grant that we may constantly remember that you are with us always, even to the end of, of time. time. We pray, pray to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, I trust in you. Eternal Father, hear all those who are sick and suffering. Grant peace and salvation for those dying this day. Bring relief to the suffering soul in poverty and from dissuasion, no, conversion to sinners everywhere, especially those of our own One family. family. We pray to the Lord. Jesus, trust in you. Lord of mercy, we pray for parents whose children have left home, who have turned away from God, who have turned to a life of drugs, prostitution, crime and violence. Grant them wisdom, patience and courage in praying for their children and bring about conversion of the hearts of their loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Jesus, I trust in you. Lord of mercy, we pray for our community that you will bless all our neighbors. May you bless us with your peace and may we live in right relationships as we look out for the needs of each other. We pray for the Lord. Jesus, I trust in you. Let us pray for our personal intention. Lord Jesus, you reminded us of one yoke is easy and a full yes. Right. Thank you for the opportunity to share with you our heartfelt prayers. Help us to trust in your love and mercy always. We make our prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. Six. Chapter of Divine Mercy. Are you? Yeah. Your expired Jesus, where the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, 
on Solomon Road to Libra, divine mercy enveloped the whole world and empty itself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but we are the Lord's Son. Full of grace. Full of grace. Lord is with you. 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 Lord Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of our dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For 
Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your very beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his powerful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his powerful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your very beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Holy God, I offer our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Toad, oh God, and something terrible that will happen in us. Hey, boy. Hey. Yes, Father, bring back that current for you. Father, what are you trying to do here, eh? Oh. Oh, something tell me that could tell you to feel that current go on for you. Oh. Hey, boy. Hmm? Is it is the I think so, yeah. Yeah. It's Mm. Let's see what's 
Show you. You see nothing there? Huh? Where are we going? That's not the conclusion. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Holy one, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. Hmm. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury. And the treasury. Of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy on us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit yourselves ourselves to your will which is love and mercy itself. Amen and amen, amen. and amen. Lord, well, you know how it is. Hmm. The enemy, boy. Turn on the fridge. Because that's a spoiler. That's a spoiler. You know where it's coming? I'm going to take it away. Hmm. 